Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and it looks like my series of terrible takes by the Axis Media is getting its next installment today. As CBR is coming at it from a very disingenuous perspective and twisting the words of the fans and coming across very shitty. Now CBR has had some terrible stuff in the past, I've come at their takes a few times, but this one is really special because it fits in with the narrative that's going on around the She-Hulk trailer, so this is just one of many who are having this take. She-Hulk is already getting flack for being a female-led show. Now, every single person that I know or follow online is not coming after the show because it's female-led. That is very disingenuous. We're coming after it because of its shitty CGI, its terrible writing, and just the general shittiness the show looks like it's going to have. That trailer that released looks abominable. It looks horrific on a myriad of reasons. I mean, that line about fear and anger is the baseline of any woman existing. That is not what you want from a superhero product. That's not. We don't want real world stuff in our superhero stuff most of the time. Exceptions to the rule occasionally, but the default should be escape from reality, escapism. We don't want to hear about real world problems. It's something that Hollywood doesn't understand anymore. It's the only thing they care about is reliving the real world and trying to be as relevant as possible. Well, relevant isn't timeless, and you're going to age yourself rather quickly if you continue to be relevant, as we've seen so many times. But yeah, She-Hulk is not being attacked for being female-led. There are plenty of other female properties that these people that are criticizing the She-Hulk trailer, including myself, love and enjoy. It has nothing to do with their gender. It has everything to do with the writing, the CGI, and just history of Marvel in recent years. And there's a reason why the trailer is severely ratioed. Now that's not fully ratioed, I have to admit, but that is a severely bad ratio between them. It's not 50-50 or less. It's still really bad though, and something that no other Marvel product, to my knowledge, has ever received. So it looks like it's a lot more than that man babies on YouTube that are calling this shit out. It seems like it's a generally disliked trailer and a generally disliked show that not a whole lot of people are looking forward to because that is not a good ratio. And so them saying, oh, and she's man babies who don't like female-led properties is very disingenuous. Our criticisms of it are so much more well-founded with evidence and just more mature than what CBR is making it out to be. And yeah, some of their comments in here aren't great. <laughs> They're talking about the the lack of muscles. I don't have a problem if she was more muscular I think it would make sense. They just kind of stretched her out. It looks really weird and that's more of a CGI perspective uh, She-Hulk has a few different good looks as long as they don't go full winter She-Hulk I'm fine with her being more muscular. That was never a problem for most people And yeah, we're not worried about that it's all about the writing, but these uh, the, these anticipated releases will likely face a slew of misogynist and sexist comments um Give us some proof. Show your receipts. That's something that these people can never do. Oh, uh, Rose Tico, she w the actress was driven off social media by racist and sexist. Show us some proof. Oh, this happened. Oh, this happened. Oh, she's getting attacked. Uh, she Hulk's getting attacked. Racist and sexist. Show us your receipts. It's funny that the only receipts that are possible are when it's against these people. In the case of uh, Nochi Gomez from the Doctor Strange movie, she was repeatedly attacked for being too light-skinned for the role. Even though she met it in all qualifications possible, she just happened to be a little bit lighter than they wanted. And there are dozens and dozens of receipts to show that these people attacked her, but they got nothing in this. And that's always a funny thing to remember is that these people, they never seem to remember that we can show our receipts and you can't. So why is it that you keep coming out of the woodwork with these nonsensical accusations that are based in no reality whatsoever? And this last comment is, the MCU is being accused of pandering to the left because the series stars a woman. No, it's being accused of pandering to the left because of lines like just uh, fear and anger are just the baseline of a woman existing at all. That's not a very good perspective. Having fear and anger as your basis isn't the basis of a good person, in my opinion at least. And so that's not a really good reflection of women if you think they're just angry all the time. So I'm not a fan of that. But... All the Marvel products, not just this one, have been pandering. And we've telegraphed that perfectly in my channel and many other channels here on YouTube. We've shown you proof. We've shown you examples. But these people are just like, <laughs> female. No, it's way more complicated than that. This is laughable as most of the Marvel's products have only ever featured male protagonists in the past. There were majority male protagonists in the past, yes. But now they're swinging the pendulum towards the majority female. Two wrongs don't make a right. It's an overcorrection. But it's not just that she's female-led that makes this show 
woke or pandering to the left as they say it here. Even the male-led shows of recent weeks and years have been pandering to the left. So this is a very disingenuous approach from CBR. They're ignoring the true criticism and they're just saying uh, these comments are also grasping at how the show's liveliness and uh, ultimately criticize it for being too feminine, sex positive. No one's criticizing it for being feminine, sex positive. They're criticizing it for that last shot of her carrying a man into bed. It was very much a women are stronger than men approach. That was very much the feeling that a lot of people got off that final shot. That final shot was terrible. It has nothing to do with being sex positive. But yeah, she, they keep going into it being very disingenuous about the whole situation, being disingenuous about the fans' perspective on this trailer and the series as a whole. It's not about being female-led because if it were, we would not be saying the same criticism about shows like Hawkeye, about movies like Doctor Strange. It is a universal criticism of Marvel Phase 4 that we have been labeling at it with the exception of Sony's Spider-Man. That's the only one that seemed to be free of all this nonsense, which is very rare these days. So, yeah, your entire argument falls apart, CBR, because you don't have receipts for this supposed criticism and this supposed hatred towards the actress in the show. And we have receipts on our end that we criticize way more than just what you're saying we are and way more shows and movies than just the female-led ones. So yeah, again, CBR just shows their colors, pandering to Disney+, Plus, trying to get some early access or whatnot, making it very cemented that they are access media only concerned with getting stuff early and getting perks and not actually relaying information to the fans and not really being a representative of fans. Not surprising to those who have been following CBR and channels like it in recent years, but it's more proof and... <laughs> It's always interesting to get more proof on uh, such despicable people, at least in my personal opinion. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.